Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to program a Leviton humidity switch. And this is a thing that I've really struggled with understanding the documentation. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. And before you get started, you should look at this table because it will tell you everything you need to know. Um, but basically the first thing you're gonna do is enter programming mode. So while the fan is off, uh, you hold the top and the bottom together for five seconds. So we're just gonna do that. And then there's gonna be a solid green light for five seconds. So let it go, wait for this thing to stop blinking. So now you see it flashing a green light. So the green light corresponds to setting one. And so if it only blinks, if the green light only blinks once, it means you're on option one. So we see it only blinking once. Now, if we wanted to instead have the green light blink two times, you press the down one now you see it blink twice. So that means we're green, column one, row two, and that's how long the fan will stay on for. In my case, the problem I'm having is the humidity sensor has been too sensitive, so the thing will go off when it shouldn't. Um, and so in that case, what you do is you can increase it to the lowest sensitivity. So uh, in order to do that, I'm first gonna set my time period back to 10 minutes. So to do that, Again here, you see it only blink twice. If I press the down one, it's gonna blink three times. Press it one more time, it's gonna blink four times. Press it again here, it's now back to setting one. Now I want to advance to the second column on that table. So I press the up part of this, and now you can see that blinking four times. So I've set this now to be setting four for amber, and that's the lowest possible humidity sense but by default from the factory, it's gonna have two blanks, so you just advance it by pressing that lower button right there. And then finally, if you wanted to adjust column three, uh, which is the device operating mode, you go in here and you set that to wherever you want it to be. Um, so once you've dialed in everything, um, the way to save the three settings, because you have to configure all three at the same time. So if I look at what my uh, red light is right now, sorry, I just advanced it, so. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's the lowest one. And then we're gonna go to the red column. So I'm at one. And so for setting one, which is the default, it's gonna automatically turn on and off when it's needed. So now we've got everything the way we like it. Just hold top and the bottom again for five seconds. You're gonna get that solid green light once it saves, you let it go, and that's how you do it. So pretty convoluted, complicated, it took me a long time to figure out, but now I understand and hopefully you guys do too, and take it easy. So thanks for watching.